us confess our blessing. May the peace be with you. You are the missionaries to save this world. The glory of the glory of the, this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house. May you restore the thanksgiving as you listen to the message today. We're looking at the book of Matthew. From Matthew chapter 5, from verse 1 to 7, we, all, we know these verses very well. We are very used to these words. And Matthew chapter 4 shows Jesus overcame the temptation of Satan. It means that the heaven has come already. The work, as the work of heaven started, the forces of Satan broken down, as well as the forces of darkness broken down. That's why uh, the Matthew chapter five is not spoken to non-believers. It talks about how are we, the people of God, going to live as citizens of uh, heaven. As a citizen of heaven, how are we go? How are we supposed to live this world? If you don't misunderstand this, uh, how how would I become a child of God? You might think that I need to do this in order to receive blessings. Uh, today's scripture reading is not about that. So there were uh, late Hellenism and Judaism. So when just spoke about these words, uh, the culture was in Hellenism. Also, among the Judah people, uh, there was a Judaism. So what they said is a conditional, uh, it was a conditional belief that they need to do something. And we talk about eight blessings today. It's not it's not about I need to do this in order to receive blessings and receive salvation. Through Christ, we already receive salvation uh, blessings. Simply speaking, because of the Christ accomplishment, we already have received blessings. It talks about how and what should an individual. Uh, who's who's in, it means that we need to taste the kingdom of God while we leave this world and to live as you taste the power of kingdom of God so this is the core of a uh, today's scripture reading the first it says the blessed are the poor in spirit Can the, the poverty be a blessing? Uh, the Sermon on the Mount, uh, is, uh, Jesus spoke about. He completely flipped the uh, concept of well living that Israelites uh, Israelites had. The uh, poverty is actually curses to them. The the poverty was seen. That's why the and what they have is in one hand they have word of God, and the other hand they have they have wealth, money. That's why the, the Jewish people have uh, conquered the finance of this world today. But it says the poverty is 
actually a blessing. That's why the today's scripture, uh, today's uh, title is Blessed Poverty. So if we are we are in poverty in this world, we cannot see it as blessing. If you are uh, in poverty, then you are going to you're going going through hardship. But he says the being in poor is actually a blessing. Then we I hope you grab hold of today's message. How? Being in, in poverty is blessing. So he says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. He says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. And Matthew, a uh, book of Matthew explains that blessed are the poor in spirit, heaven. But when you look at the book of Luke, it doesn't say the poor in spirit but you just say poor and the Lord speaks not just only materially poor but about the poor in spirit so what does it mean by poor in spirit in order to find out there were spoken by uh, prophet Isaiah Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 it says also the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 66 verse 2 it says uh, poor in spirit as well and it talks about uh, what it means to be poor in Hebrews think way of thinking so when the Israelites said they were in poor what did it mean it's the situation of being captive the finding of the fact that there's nothing in them that can solve their problems uh, having uh, having nothing in them that can solve their problems was actually the status being poor. So they um, long for Messiah. You know Calvin very well. He was a very outstanding individual. So he was an individual, he, he completely interpret the Bible when he was 27 and there was a well-known book the Christian Institute the first part of the, the Christian Institute is man is completely corrupted so people are man is has fallen into complete corruption and complete incompetence Uh, what we need to know first is that we are in complete poor before God. In other words, we must receive God's grace. We need to meet God and then we can receive salvation. It talks about after, even after receiving salvation, we cannot live one moment without God's grace. So it talks about Genesis 3 and original sins. With our own strength, we cannot receive salvation. Only God can give us help and salvation. And only the Spirit who knows that only from God we can receive strength. Only those individuals can receive uh, blessings, privileges of kingdom of God. 
you need to understand well what it means to be blessed are the poor in spirit. I'm not talking, I'm not saying that we should live a life humble ma manner. It's not about those lowering themselves are blessed. I'm not saying that the good ones over bad ones will receive blessings. I'm not saying the gentle ones over evil ones will receive blessings. Those who uh, live the walk of faith from a young age, uh, they, they were taught that they, they, they need to pretend to be humble and gentle. So they might look, seem that they are humble and gentle, but they have evil things inside of them. The poor in spirit means a status where you cannot live without God's power. We are uh, mankind is completely corrupted. You need to know well that we are caught in Genesis three, and and we cannot do anything without God's work. That's why it's only Christ, because we cannot do things with our own strength. Only God. It says those who know these facts are the ones are the are the, are the poor the blessed are the poor in spirit if you know the core of the creation you have no choice but to realize that the being poor in spirit is a, such a blessing man was not created to, uh, to live alone God created man in his image to uh, conquer this world. What does it mean by if we were created created in his image? So he created in his image to comp uh, com accompany with him. And receive blessings to conquer this world from But the secret of being with God is broken. That's what happened to Adam and Eve. In Genesis 3, Adam and Eve lost this blessing. Because uh, Adam and Eve broke the promise for, uh, of God, it went. That's why even if we try so hard, things or things are not working. So more you work, more disasters come, and the work of failure come. Uh, that our lives have become a life that we cannot live any longer. So the great impre impression of how our lives is after leaving God is thornbush and thistle. And that our, in our lives, thornbush and thistles are created continually. What? Why is that? Is the result of to the men who have left God. And that God came and made uh, Adam and Eve realize that you cannot do things on your own. So when that's included, when God asked Adam, where are you? Did God ask because he didn't really know where Adam was?
It means that Adam and Cain cannot live without with their own strength. He made them realize and restore the blessings. It is Genesis three fifteen. The office bring a woman will crush the head of Satan. It means that God Himself will come. It's the promise of Jesus Christ who can solve these problems will come. So as a sign of believing in this promise, they killed the lamb and spread the blood. Whenever they give worship, they uh, kill the lamb and spread the blood. Uh, come with the secret of uh, secret of uh, blood is to restore the blessings from God. It says, in the fact that law requires the near and everything be cleansed with blood. And the owner of this blood, Jesus Christ, came to this world. That's why uh, Hebrews 9, uh, 22 says, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. He also, he has opened a, a direct way to uh, come before God. That's right. We have no choice but to face 100% destruction without Christ's grace. Without God's grace, we will face 100% destruction. There's a acknowledging that you are in complete incompetence and complete corruption is a, a start of receiving God's grace. Or you know uh, the problems and you, you realize that you are in Genesis 3 because of Christ you are freed you will have thanksgiving that you had no choice but to fall in complete destruction because of Christ you are saved if, if you don't realize this you will be deceived by Satan moment every moment uh, Without God's grace, you cannot leave. Realizing this fact is blessed in the poor in spirit. That's why the star is the poor in spirit. But look at the look at the fields around you. So people live without knowing this uh, uh, this fact. Uh, people try so hard and they are, are they they become successful but eventually they will fail and that you will bring more destruction and more problems to this world you really need to know what Genesis 3 problems are more you know about these problems you will realize that anything else but the Christ is needed in our lives this is where all the blessing starts what's the incident in Genesis, Genesis 3 as uh, our elder prayed today our problems have started from Genesis 3 what is incident in Genesis 3 it is the uh, incident that we mankind left God. So it's the start of all the problems when mankind left God. Because uh, mankind left God, their lives were completely captured by Satan. So they were in possession of uh, uh, Satan, evil. So that's why they had no choice but to have faced spiritual problems. 
What's the spiritual problems of spiritual problems? It's idol worship. That's why people do idol worship. More they do、uh, idol worship, they will have less peace in their minds. And their, even their bodies will fall into、uh, illness. And they will live、uh, their lives in hell. And they will end up in hell eventually. And they will pass on these problems to their next generations. This is Genesis 3 problems. No one can be free from this. So, leaving God is a Genesis 3 problem. The problem of sin is Genesis 3. And co、uh, completely captured or caught in by Satan is Genesis 3 problem. If you really know this problem, you have no choice but to have a resolution of,、uh, that the Christ is the only answer. He says that blessed are the ones、uh, poor in blessing. So, those who really know that Christ is the only answer are, the, are blessed. That's, our, that's, all the, that's where all the blessings start from. You need to have the conclusion or resolution why you need to, must receive,、uh, grab hold onto the Christ only. It says, For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This word was from John the Baptist before Jesus came. These words is something that Israelites did never heard before. Where does it happen? It talks about the kingdom of God. Well, when it says、uh, a kingdom or country, there are three elements sovereignty. There, there must be people, there must be land. The most important thing is sovereignty. The most important element of kingdom is sovereignty. Even if you have the land, if you lose sovereignty, you lose everything. Uh, think about、uh, 36 years of a colonization by Japan. Japan tried everything to take sovereignty away from us. That's why the most important thing is sovereignty. And Matthew 6 33 says, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. What is his kingdom? It's, it asks for God's、uh, governance and God's sovereignty. It says, Repent, that God's kingdom is near. It means God's sovereignty, God's.、Uh, Governance is near. God created、uh, the universe and governed the heaven. And、uh, such a great work happened there. Satan corrupted and then And capture the people who、uh, were supposed to receive blessings from God. He completely、uh, captured and governed this world. So, what does it mean by heaven is near? It means that the God's sovereignty and glory will come to the, the world. Where Satan is controlling, even to the fields of sins and disasters, God's sovereignty and blessings will appear through Christ. 
doesn't finish with the uh, Father God's sovereignty. Uh, but it continues through uh, the fields of Genesis 3, 3 that we're living in. The blessing of, God, uh, blessing of God's sovereignty will continue to the fi our fields. And while the work of God appear on this world, when uh, does the heaven complete? When the Lord comes back, the new heaven and new land will come. The Bible talks about the time of God completing uh, glorious blessing world will come. We live in uh, primary he heaven. Why? We live in primary heaven because we live in God's sovereignty, sovereignty through uh, Christ. The, but the perfect new heaven and new land is the land we will enter later on. Because we have uh, become people of God uh, already the country of our own become new heaven and new land. So what does it mean, mean by poor in spirit? The ones who know Genesis 3 curses and suffering that, that we can not live without God's grace. And they will enter into complete uh, sovereignty of God. And there's the blessings of God's complete uh, sovereignty and governance in, uh, in our fields in your complete uh, in your complete life is governed by God those those who are poor in spirit will receive less will receive these blessings I will conclude the word to, today. There are so many people poor in their spirits. So actually everyone is poor in their spirit, but important thing is they do not know they are. Actually, when you open your eyes, everyone needs to rely on God's grace. But they do not know this and they don't ask for God. The problem is they, they do not realize that they need to rely on God. It's not a shame to rely on God. It's a, such a blessing and glorious thing. It's a, there's no other way other than relying on God. So there is no other way other than relying on God in our lives. Until we stand before God, may you confess that you that you need God's grace. May you have the confession of being poor in spirit. That I cannot leave without God's grace a single day. So the ones who know that, know that they need Christ's blood until they die. That's uh, those will uh, enjoy the governance of God. That's why we sing praise today. So grab hold onto the Christ, uh, onto the cross firmly. Grab hold onto the Christ and it walk before God. Why? because we have nothing before God. Those who know these facts, we say, blessed are the poor in spirit. And they will 
I receive blessing of heaven that the non-believers do not understand. May you enjoy blessing of heaven as a poor in spirit. So even they are poor in spirit, but they and don't know this. May you that you need the uh, God's grace first. And may you attest, testify that they need God's grace as well as you did. In Genesis 3, the, uh, the spiritual problems that you cannot do anything, but the moment you grab hold of Christ, God's kingdom will completely govern your life. So what does it mean by the kingdom of God will completely uh, govern your life? It's to save your life. It is to save all the people. May you have this blessing throughout this week. God, we give you thanks. May we realize that we need a God, your grace every single day. May we live a, a life of blessed are the poor in spirit and receive your grace every single day. May we, may we enjoy the, your governance while we leave this world and enter into the new land and new heaven.